Alright, so now I would like to teach you what a dynamic data validation is. So, if you recall, ang data validation kasi is when you protect a specific cell na magiging limited lang yung number of text or selected string or number na pwede nilang i-enter sa isang cell, for example. Okay? So, let's say we have here um, a cell. Let's color this one para alam natin kung nasaan yung ating data validation. So, if you recall, there is a data validation here under the data tab. And if you click list, pwede kang maglagay ng yes and no. So, if you press enter, you will have a yes and no. Okay? So, nalagyan ko siya ng um, backslash. So, we can just edit that. Okay? And then next is, if we're gonna create another one, let's say, go to data, data validation, from whole number, we can add 50 to 100. Okay? So, we have here, if you enter 50, it will be accepted. Okay? And if you type 49, an error. So, the value doesn't match the data validation restrictions defined for this cell. So, this is to protect yung cell mo in case na merong mga magkaroon ng typo errors, okay? And then, let's say 100. So, yeah, accept pa niya. If 101, it will be rejected. Alright? So, you can do that. And, um, let's say, for example, you have a list here. Yes, no, and maybe. So, you can also use cell references, so data validation. Just click list and then look for this one. Okay, so you will have a list here. So, dito, if you type anything else aside from yes and no, you will be getting an error. Okay, so kadalas ang ginagamit to ng mga data encoders para hindi sila nagkakamali sa spelling at para sa reporting, malinis ang database. So, we're gonna add... Um, we're going to add some list of main services dito. Let's say online course, hands-on workshop, event space rental, and one-on-one -on -one tutorial. Let's correct that. Okay. So, let's say these are the main services. I'm going to click insert table. Okay. And then, I'm going to copy this. Nagawa ko ng another list. Let's transpose that. Okay. Ayan. So, sa online course, let's say, for example, the choices are MS Excel, um, Freelancing 101, and um, Digital Marketing. Okay? And then, sa hands-on workshop naman, we have Manila, we have Cavite area, we have Pampanga, let's say Davao, um, Laguna, and CDO. Okay, let's say yan lang yung mga available na area for now. For event space rental, let's say with snacks and coffee. With the snacks and coffee. So, yan yung mga option nila. Kasi iba ang um, rate namin dito sa hub kapag may kasamang snacks or may sarili silang snacks. Okay, nadadalhin sa venue. And one-on-one -on -one tutorial, meron tayong via Skype. Meron namang um, dito sa hub. So, sa Excel hub venue or Manila. Okay? So, pwede silang um, magkipag-arrange kung one-on-one -on -one tutorial ba, pero online. Or pupunta sila sa hub or magkikita kami sa Manila kasi iba-iba ang rates niyan. Alright. So, ang gusto ko sana is magkaroon ako ng data validation na kapag nag-select ako ng online course, let's say, nag-select ako dito ng online course, and then, ang lalabas ko na option dito is itong tatlo lang. Okay? So, first, we're gonna create um, name managers muna. So, we're gonna go to formulas and name manager. So, gawa tayo ng online course. So, hindi allowed ang space or special character. I think underscore is allowed naman. So, we're gonna refer this um, new name dito. Okay? Just click OK. But before that, let me cancel this. I think we forgot something. We need to um, 
convert this to table. Okay. So, kailangan sanayan nyo nang gumagamit ng table para ma-enjoy nyo yung mga benefits niya. Okay? Alright. So, we're gonna go back to our formulas name manager. Let's delete this. Okay? So, let's create online course. And then, ito yung um, coverage niya. Let's do that again. Okay, so table 2, online course. Ginamit ko. Kinlik ko yung kapag nagiging black na drop-down icon yung mouse mo. You just have to click that. Okay, para ma-capture yung tatlo. Tapat ang lalabas dyan is table 2, online course. And then next is hands-on. So the first two. Yeah. And then next is event space. Let's close this. And then one on or tutorial na lang. Okay? Then click this one. So ito yung lalabas dapat. Alright, so meron na tayong mga name managers. So dito, what we're gonna do is click data. So dito natin siya ilalagay. Let's say, um, select a service. Okay, let's say gumagawa ka ng form. Okay, or let's just transfer this dito para mas maganda siyang tingnan or mas maayos siyang tingnan. Okay. So, we're gonna format this. Let's say, this is our drop-down or data validation. So, we can go to data, data validation. You can go to list. Click this one and press F3. Okay? If you press F3, you will have options here na lalabas. Okay? So, pipili ka na lang dito ng listahan na gusto mong i-call. Okay? So, we're gonna have to cancel this kasi I realized that we forgot one more name manager and that's the list of main services so just go back to your name manager and click new and then main services then just click this one okay all right so let's try it again so just go to data data validation go to list and then press f3 on your keyboard and then click uh, main services click ok all right just click ok and you will have a drop down here online course hands-on event space and one-on-one -on -one tutorial and then next so select category so we're gonna create another list so just go to data data validation go to list again okay so, we're going to type in indirect. Okay, and then just click this one. Click OK. So, you will be getting an error. The source currently evaluates to an error. Do you want to continue? And the reason why I'm showing this error to you is madalas mo may encounter itong error na to so that you know what to do. Okay? So, the reason why there is an error, hindi nag-work yung ating data validation, is because yung mga um, name manager na ginawa natin is hindi siya nagmamatch sa titles na to or sa titles na to. Okay? So, what we need to do is to add an underscore na lang. Underscore. Kasi hindi allowed ang spaces. Or let's just label this with um, workshops. Okay? And then, underscore. So, you have to change the titles na kailangan magmamatch siya sa ginawa mong name managers. And then, go to formulas, go to name manager, and then validate your list. So, what you have to do is check online course, online underscore course, that's okay. And then, main services, okay. Um, event space, we can edit this. Pagkira natin siya ng underscore. Uh, huh. So, hands-on, kailangan workshops, Okay. And then tutorial, this is tutorial. 
So, nagmamatch naman na siya. Okay? So, you're gonna go back to your list and ang data validation mo, okay, is hindi pa rin siya updated. So, make sure na yung mga title headers na to ay nagmamatch dito sa mga to. So, we're gonna copy it, paste special values, transpose, values na lang, click OK. Alright? So, again, kailangan nagmamatch ang online course dito. Nagmamatch yung spelling niya, yung um, special characters kung meron. Okay? And then, so, mag-iiba ang data validation mo dito. So, so meron na siyang underscore, okay? Kung ano yung tamang um, spelling niya. So, hindi kasi allowed ang um, spaces in creating name managers. And there's actually a way to... Um, bypass that, yung aalisin niya yung underscore, i-consider niya yung space yan, but it's going to be a long process and a long formula by using a substitute function. So, we're gonna do this, uh, a simplified version muna. So, let's say you have selected online course, you have to go here, go to data validation, make sure na you selected um, list, and then indirect, okay? Use the indirect formula, and then click this one. Bakit ito ang i-click mo? Kasi you will be using this list para magbago yung category mo. Okay? Let's try it. So let's say online course ang nakaselect. Sa so drop down na to, mga online courses lang ang lalabas. Okay? And then if you select workshops, mga workshops lang na location ang lalabas. If you select tutorial, tutorial uh, via Skype, and then, ayan, yung mga options ng tutorial. And then, the last one is event space. You will have an option with snacks or without snacks and coffee. Alright? So, based siya dito. Kapag nagbabago ang first data validation mo, nagbabago din itong next na data validation mo. So, dependent ito dito sa cell na to. Alright? So, again, the process is to create a list. Gawa ka muna ng listahan and convert everything to Excel table, okay? By clicking insert and table. And you have to make sure that itong listahan mo, kasi these are the main services, tapos magkakaroon ka ng mga sub-category, okay? So itong mga headers na to, kailangan they match here, okay? As is sila. And if you go to formulas, name manager, kailangan uh, consistent yung mga titles mo, yung mga headers mo. Alright? So, if you want to um, if you want to, to validate kung tama ang reference niya, for example, ayan, so you just have to click edit and um, verify it here. Okay? So, you can cancel this. What if, for example, gusto kong mag-add ng online course about eBay 101? Okay? So, if I press enter, nag-extend yung table ko, automatic na nagkaroon siya ng box. Alright? Ng borders. Ayan. So, if you're gonna click online course, mag-a-add ba siya automatic? So, online course, meron na siyang eBay 101. Alright? So, automatic siya. Let's say, nagkaroon tayo ng workshop na sa Cebu. So, just add your list. Make sure na kasama siya sa table. Makikita mo naman kasi meron siyang border. Alright? So, you can go to workshops. And then, lalabas na si Cebu. Okay? So, just a reminder that merong dalawang klase when you're adding a data validation kasi. So, baka magtaka kayo kung bakit merong equal sign yung iba. Yung iba naman, wala. So, sa data validation, kapag sinulet mo si list, tapos wala kang nilagay na um, equal sign, ang mangyayari is direct lang ang magiging options niya. Let's say, workshops, and then um, tutorials event space and online course okay so you are using comma as a separator so wala siyang equal sign sa unahan so if you click okay direct lang nalalabas yung mga options na yan okay so if you're gonna select naman let's say this cell and if you add data validation Ang equal sign kasi is you're trying to add some function or formula kagaya ng indirect na example ko kanina. So, equal sign and then if you press F3 
may mga lalabas na options dyan. So, let's say, workshops. Ibig sabihin, kinocall mo lang yung workshops na list. Okay? Kapag may equal sign siya, ikocall mo yung workshops na list. Ano ba yung workshop na list? You can go to this name box. Okay? So, click workshops and mag-highlight siya. Alright? If you click this, click mo ang online course, nag-highlight ang online course. Or, yun yung tinuro ko kanina na name manager. Diyan mo makikita yung mga options. Okay? Na pwede mong i-call sa data validation. If you're gonna use an equal sign doon sa box ng list. Ito siya. So, that's how you create a dynamic data validation. So, in case na meron kayong gustong gawin na form for your company or gusto nyo gumawa ng templates, ayan, pwede nyo gamitin to para hindi masyadong mahaba ang listahan. So, I hope you learned something today and thank you so much.